Hey everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to make a box card that I want it to look like a little stage or a little set because I've got this gorgeous, oh, well it's cute, it's very very sweet. It's the Sooty new collection. You get a stamp set, sentiment set, washi, paper pad and ephemera. So if you don't like to colour images. So these are stamps, which is what I've used today. You can see them there. You get the dies to cut them out. But like I said, you've got the ephemera there if you don't like to colour. And it, I just thought this has taken me down memory lane because I grew up watching Sooty. And um, yeah, just the, the funny sentiments on here. Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. Have a super birthday. Um, I'm always here to lend a helping hand. Send him fuzzy yellow bear hugs. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Oh, love it. So, yeah, really nice to use this one. So, I've already gone ahead and I have stamped my images here. So, you can see the size of them there. So, you've got the colours and everything. So, I've just matched them up. I've used my alcohol markers for that one. And then for the papers, I've taken the star design there and the sentiment I'm having, Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy. So what I've done is I want to create a centre inside this box card that I'm making here. So this is a piece of 11 by 6. And along that 11 inch side, you want to score at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, two, and two and a half. And then at eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten and ten and a half and then you want to fold both sides on the most inner score line so you've got your six inch square and then you're going to concertina fold back on each of them so you folded it in then you're going to go back on the next fold then again and then again and then again so you end up with this front one facing inside the card so again i folded that right over then go back and then again, and then again, and then fold back. So you should have three mountain folds on the outside. And that's how it should look from the top. I've then cut myself this piece of six by six card. And the card that I've used, this is the new beautiful card. So this did sell out, but I believe it's back in stock again. This is the Imperial Red. It's 230 GSM, you get 25 sheets there. As always, all the product will be linked below. And then, yeah, from the paper pad, which is here, you've got your topper sheets as well. So again, if you, you know, you, just the pad alone, you can create some really lovely cards. So there you go, Sooty Sweep and Sue. Got the playing cards to cut out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to making some nice fun folds with this one. And then that's the other topper sheet. So you've got your sentiments there as well. I love this one. Nice big image there with the water pistol. So I've cut that piece to five and three quarters squared. And then I want to cut this square inside. Now I think I might come up a little bit higher. This would also work with the the other box card I did to make it. And I made it look like a TV set, an old kind of vintage style TV. And that was for the Bagpuss launch. So there is that card as well. I'll link that one up here because I think that would work quite well with this. But I think I want to bring the square up a little bit so that the sentiment can be there. And then I think I want to have Sue kind of at the bottom. So maybe she's even in front. And then they're going to be behind the counter, which is going to be this piece, which is going to be inside the card. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to come up a little bit. Now I have got my frame and I'll show you how to do this in a moment. So I need to take that into consideration as well. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So we'll, we'll go about there. Now the size of this frame is, if you want something similar, four by four. It's just slightly under, but four by four will be fine. And just make sure that's equally spaced. So I'm just going to pass that through my machine. I've already stuck the pattern paper on there. So for the frame, I've cut myself a piece of four and a quarter squared. And then I just use the same four by four die and cut that out in the middle. So that now gives me my frame, which I can stick on there. You could, you know, this can be any colours, obviously. It's be great for Christmas cards. You can have a little festive scene inside. You could have loads of florals inside. There's lots of ways to use this one. And box cards. And there's so many styles of box cards out there. So 
Hopefully this just gives you some more inspiration. I think it's a little bit wider at the bottom, so I'm just going to turn that around. You could put acetate behind this as well if you wanted to. So this is now going to go on the front here. So I'm going to run my glue down both of these half inch panels. And then you just want to sit it over the top so they can all attach. And if you just fold it down, that will all fold down to that six by six size. I pop this in one of my box envelopes or one of my bouncy envelopes. And that's where you build the envelope around the card. And I've got both of those tutorials on the channel, so I will link those. There we go. Happy with that. It all stands up nicely. So this is going to be my kind of like desk that they are behind. I want to stick it between that one. And then they're going to both be behind or the counter. Yeah, it's going to look quite cute. So this piece here is two and a half by five and seven eighths. I come in slightly under because I don't want it to, you know, buckle on the uh, folds there. So I'm just going to run a very thin bead of glue, just enough for it to tack in place. So just a thin bead of glue either side, like so. And I'm going to slide it in between the middle triangles like so just kind of roughly center it and just make sure it runs flat with the bottom of the card there we go and just let that stick down i think i'm going to um, get his wand as well because they're always kind of fighting with each other so i think yeah we'll get sweep down first so he can be Think about there. Just want it to just lift him up. And then again, have Sooty a little bit higher so the wand will come out of that hand there. And actually, I think Sue will go kind of here. And then the sentiment. Maybe she goes in the middle. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm just going to run my glue along there. Sue's in the middle. And then I'm going to pop this up on a little bit more foam. I just cut around the sentiment. So it's a piece of one by about three and a half. And then just over one by just over three and a half. It was a very, very thin border I used on that one. Get as much of her dress in. A little belt detail there. <laughs> this is so fun. And then let's see. See, he's got the wand there. You've got the, I wonder if there's an ephemera of the wand actually. Because you've got the wand there. So maybe, but I literally just want the wand. I might just cut that piece out. We'll just check if there's one on the, on the ephemera pack. Otherwise, I will um, just stamp the other one. Oh, what's that there? Ah, oh. mind you, though, that's nice to keep like that. So a lot of them are the same images that you see there. And you've got, again, the sentiments there. So you can create exactly the same card that I have using these images. I don't think they've got just the wand on its own. I've got the little... That's quite cute, actually, isn't it? All those little stars here. Oh, maybe we'll add the star. We can add the star in the background. Some of these little bits here. And the duck. Oh, see, look, they look cute. I quite like those. We'll use those as well. And yeah, you can see the other sentiment there. Another plant pot. It's very, very easy crafting when you've got all these pieces done for you. And there's another star there, right? We'll keep all those pieces out. I'm just going to stamp that one there because I don't want to cut into that ephemera piece. We'll keep that as it is, but that stamp I can obviously use time and time again. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add a little bit of glue just on his hand there. There we go. 
And then I'm just going to attach a few of these pieces here. And then to finish this off, I'm going to use my accent glaze because there's quite a few areas that I think would look really nice with a bit of shine. So I'm going to do all of their noses. I have already used my white gel pen. You can see I've just added a few little highlights on them. So I'm just going to finish it. Little shiny noses. So there's the finished card. I thoroughly enjoyed making this one. I'm actually going to keep this for myself because I've got quite a lot of space where I can display cards and just the things that bring me joy. And this has certainly brought me a lot of joy and taken me right down memory lane. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one until someone sees it and decides that they want it. So, But like I said, on the back, use that as your place to write your message. I just need to watch that accent glaze. It's drying. If you cut yourself a piece of five and three quarter squared to go on the back there, and then you've got all of that room. I think this is super cute. So check out the new product. It is all available here at Craft Stash. If you've not subscribed to my channel and you've enjoyed today's tutorial, then just click on my icon there and you can subscribe. And I'll have some more fun fold cards coming up here that you might want to watch next. Take care and I'll see you again. Bye.